What's up, y'all? Shout out to the wonderful New England. Shout out to the beautiful state of New Hampshire and the beautiful state of Maine. I'm just enjoying my day here in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and uh, here on the beautiful coast. And it's 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 beautiful, guys. I'm 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 actually really happy to be in New England. I would have never thought I'd come here, and especially for the reasons that I'm here. But um, I digress. I, I know you guys don't give a fuck about rocks and water, so. Um, I thought I'd make a little video uh, talking about my hostel stays in Portland, Oregon. I don't think anyone's done a video on this on YouTube. Now, I stayed at two different hostels in Portland, Oregon while I was there for a month or so. Um, I stayed at one on Hawthorne Boulevard, the Hawthorne Hostel, and I stayed on uh, the Northwest Portland. Now, it's, it's, it's Northwest Downtown, to be clear. Now, basically, I'm just going to talk about both these places. I'm going to share my experience. I'm going to give a little review and kind of compare the two. Hope you guys enjoy. Um, all right, so let's talk about the Northwest, Northwest High Hostel. Now, that is on Gleason and 18th Street in Northwest Portland. It's near, like, you got, like, Cooch Park and all that. It's a little dog park to walk around. Um, some of the... Uh, some of the some of the pros to the Northwest Branch would be the fact that it's closer to downtown Portland. Um, it's 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 walking distance. I mean, it's you know, good 10 15 minute walk downtown. Um, another thing about the Northwest Branch that I found better than the Hawthorne Branch was that the bathrooms and showers were much cleaner and more it looked sanitary. Um, everything was clean and they also provided soap for the guests. They also provided like soap and shampoo and all that for the guests there. Um, and the Hawthorne branch did not do that. Uh, the Northwest High Hostel seemed to be a lot more liberal, um, a lot more like fucking rainbow flags and, you know, Black Lives Matter signs and, you know, all genders, all that, like all type of stuff. So, I mean, they're definitely more, um, you know, it's it's Portland, you know, it's that it's that type of city. And I'm not going to get into the politics or anything, but definitely a place where, you know, everybody's accepted and and obviously that's good, but what I'm like the point I'm trying to make is it's one of those places like 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 they overdo it with the whole like you know, we accept everybody. We accept all genders, okay? Black lives matter. Like it's just it's just unnecessary and to me, uh, you know, I think that the staff probably half of them are like little social justice warriors yeah i said it fucking said it so that was one little thing but everybody was nice though um i'm just glad that they didn't find my youtube channel while i was there <laughs> um you know and they they also had free bread they 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 had a pretty nice kitchen they had a big old plastic tub of all this delicious free bread from a from, from a local bakery i suppose because it's pretty nice bread and it's for anybody to eat and they have like a full shared kitchen they've got coffee makers pots pans you know plates bowls silverware sink tables all that shit um yeah so my my stay at the northwest hostel was pretty good um now let's Let's talk about the Hawthorne Hostel. Now, I stayed here first, and ha the Hawthorne Hostel is on Hawthorne Boulevard and 30th Avenue. Um, and they had better Wi-Fi. They definitely had a faster Wi-Fi connection. They had way more hippies. Now, at the Northwest Branch, you had, like, like more of the, more of the like, uh, social justice warrior crowd, you know, like, Black Lives Matter supporters, even though they don't know any black people or even... They probably go out of their way to avoid talking or making eye contact with a black person. But yeah, Black Lives Matter. Yeah, bullshit. Uh, and at Hawthorne, they have a bunch of fucking dirty-ass hippies. Yeah, I said it. Hawthorne Hawthorne is uh, in southeast Portland, and it's known for, you know, it's, it has a lot of homeless people around, too, and a lot of hippies. A lot of homeless people with giant backpacks and pit bulls. Um, and the police always seem to be around. So I also found that the shared kitchen there at the Hawthorne branch was, it had less for the guests. It was a lot more basic. Um, and it was smaller and it just, it just didn't quite have as much, but nonetheless, it was still a pretty good kitchen. Uh, I personally found the other guests to be a little more stuck up. Now, maybe it's just me. Maybe it just was the day I was there, but I found the guests at the Northwest hostel to be a little bit more friendlier uh to be to be more friendly and uh the ones at the hawthorne seem to be a little more stuck up i i noticed that uh it seemed like people were quick to have like avoid eye contact or saying hi now again it could have been ju just been me and i'm willing to admit that but again i found that the staff 
and the guests there were just a little more stuck up and seemed a little bit more like they had to stick up their ass to me personally. And another thing about the Hawthorne Hostel is it is not close to downtown. You can walk, but it's going to take you with a good, you know, we're talking half hour, 45 minute walk um, down Hawthorne Boulevard. And if you do want to take the bus, if you're at the Hawthorne branch in Portland, uh, the number 14 runs runs you straight into downtown so you guys can take that and, and if you're at the northwest high high uh, hostel you take the 77 take the number 77 into town um and some things that they had in common uh the northwest and hawthorne hostels had in common was they're obviously the same price um i paid for for a bunk bed in a dorm room as a co-ed dormitory co-ed i paid after taxes $45 for one night. I don't think that's very cheap. For a private room, it was it was over $80 for one night, and that's with tax, and that's in the off season. So staying at the at the high hostel is not necessarily going to save you. I mean, it's definitely cheaper than like a hotel, of course. But I personally found that. Well, I'll talk about it there in a second. Again, they're the same price. They both have very uncomfortable bunk beds. They're they're both it's they're very uncomfortable. Um, I had a very hard time getting comfortable in both hostels. Uh, another thing they have in common, they both have Safeway grocery stores pretty close in walking distance. So, if you guys want to save money, uh, you all can walk to the local Safeway grocery store and then take your food back to the kitchen at the hostel and just cook your food that way instead of eating out, which costs more money, of course. Um, they're both they're, they're they're both big old houses. They're just big old big old houses that are converted uh, into a hotel or a hostel essentially, and they both have shared kitchens. Um, something else I thought was kind of funny is that both places, when when I walked in there, whether it was the Northwest or the Hawthorne Hostel, they every time I walked into a dorm room, there was there was a lonely Asian guy sleeping or watching their iPad in both of them. I just thought that was kind of funny and they both didn't speak English. So I think that there were travelers to America they didn't speak English and they just wanted to lay in their bed all day and watch I and watch their iPad and not and not go out or do anything. So I just I just thought that was fucking funny, man. And and, and every time I stay in a fucking hostel now now I'm going to do some bitching now, all right? There's always one motherfucker that's got to fuck it up for everybody else, man. So as you all may or may not know, I'm a very light sleeper, so getting a dorm room, you know, with other people sleeping and coming in and out all throughout the night is obviously not the smartest idea, but I wanted to save money, and every time I stayed, right when I was about to fall asleep at like, you know, one in the morning, everything was nice and quiet, there were like one or two other people in the room, everything was going good, in walks in some some fucking hippie. Yeah, I said it. Some fucking hippie, or some or some some military douchebag, and he just barges in, starts unzipping all his shit, turns the fucking lights on, throwing his shit everywhere. You know, sp you know, scratching his balls, and then he starts snoring. He just he comes in at one in the morning when everyone's sound asleep, wakes everybody up, and then as soon as his head hits the pillow. <laughs> And it, God damn it, it fucking pisses me off, man. So yes, I will bitch about staying in a hostel, like in the dorm room. And I woke up one morning, you know, because I was kind of, you know, I was, I was getting a little upset about about people snoring so loud. And and look, I understand it's a dorm room. I understand it's gonna happen, but I don't have to fucking sit there and and fucking put up with it, you know. Like 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 I pay to stay at a hostel, and I also deserve a good night's sleep. So I kept trying to wake the guy up, and I and I was getting frustrated because I because I hadn't slept in a few days already. So so in the morning, he's trying to act all tough in front of his buddies. He's like he's like, hey man, you good last night, bro? You fucking good last night, bro? Like that? And I'm just like, and and I just look at him like this. I'm just like, no, but I'm leaving now. Now maybe some of y'all like think I'm weird or whatever for saying that, man. But I genuinely have this passionate hatred towards people who just walk into a room and thinking that they own the place and then keeping everybody up with their fucking snoring have a little consideration man like when you stay at a hostel dude like 
We said a hostel may like be like be considerate that there's other people trying to sleep in the dorm room. Like I would never walk up in there at one or two in the morning when people are asleep and start unpacking all my shit and 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 being all loud and rolling around in the bed. Anyways, I digress. I'm bitching. Just so you know, I was not happy with my stay at the high ho at at the high hostels in Portland. I I wasn't satisfied with the price I had to pay and the sleep I got and the rest I got. Um, I. I personally wasn't happy. However, with that being said, it is definitely better than sleeping on the street and it is definitely better than paying $100 plus for a hotel room. So, anyways, man, that's my little review. That's my little two cents on the hostels in Portland, Oregon. Um, seems like there's not too many in America because when most people think of hostels, you know, they think of Europe or Asia or Latin America, South America, whatever. Um, so... Shout out to Portland, man. Um, if you guys have any questions about Portland, I do I do know a thing or two about it. Uh, if you guys have any video requests, I'd appreciate that as well. No joke striking at gmail.com. Bitches. Uh, I do appreciate you guys watching. Follow me on Instagram at Brayton Howard, Facebook.com slash no joke Howard. I love you all. Go fuck yourselves. Peace.